Okay, so based from our previous lectures, we have discussed more on the concepts concept part of electric force and electric field. So on this video, we would be applying those concepts in computing the net electric field or rather the net electric force on a point charge exerted by a system of point charges as well as to calculate the electric field due to a system of point charges using Coulomb's law and the superposition principle. Okay, so before we start with our um, mathematical computation, let us recall some formulas, okay, na nabanggit po natin sa ating previous lecture. Okay, so let's start, start with Coulomb's law. Okay, as we all know, the Coulomb's law uh, measures the force reaction between charges or between point charges. It uh, finds the electric force due to um, point charges and mathematically equal to K, which is our Coulomb's constant, multiplied by um, the product of two charges divided by the distance squared, okay? So K, which is uh, our proportionality constant or Coulomb's constant is equals to one over four pi epsilon naught and equal to 8.988 times 10 raised to nine Newton meter squared per Coulomb squared, okay? So ang gagamitin na lang natin is nine times 10 raised to nine Newton meter squared over Coulomb squared. Okay, so the uh, the unit for force, electric force, is in terms of newtons. Okay, the second equation is for finding electric field by a charge object. Okay, so electric field is the imaginary field that um surrounds. Okay, that surrounds a a charge or a point charge. So we can calculate the electric field magnitude of a specific charge using our um, electrical force per unit uh, magnitude of this charge. Okay, so the unit for electric field is in terms of Newton per Coulomb. Okay, so deriving another equation for electric field using Coulomb's law, okay, substitute po natin yung value ng Coulomb's law, which is K, Q1, Q2 over R squared over Q. So makakancel po yung ating point charge, or rather yung ating test charge, leaving an equation for electric field, which is Coulomb's constant, multiply by the uh, magnitude of the point charge over the distance between them. Okay, squared. So now, uh, since we have recalled some formulas that might be useful in finding the unknowns, so let us uh, make this into work with this first problem. So we have to find uh, the electric force uh, exerted by these two point charges. But first and foremost, ang kailangan po nating alamin is to um, assign, okay? Assign point reference. Okay? So why does assigning point reference uh, should be the first step in finding the electrical force? Kasi each or individual charges do have reaction to um, the other charge. So pwedeng mag magkaiba yung reaction ng Q1 in terms of Q2 at yung Q2 in terms of Q1. So, um, unahin muna natin hanapin ay yung electric force na na-experience ni Q1. So, gagamitin natin tong equation na to, KQ1, Q2 over R squared. So, K is equals to 9 times 10 raised to 9. Multiply by 200 microcoulomb times 100 microcoulomb over the distance between them, which is one meter squared. Okay, take note that microcoulomb, 
factor, microcoulomb is equals to 10 raised to negative 6 coulomb. Yan. So, key in po natin yan sa calcule. Ang magiging sagot po dyan is 180 newtons. But take note, electric force is a vector. Okay? Vector quantity. So, um, kailangan po hindi lang mag magnitude yung uh, sagot natin. Kailangan meron din po siyang supported din po siya ng direction. Okay? So, what would be the direction of the electric force at Q1. So, paano po natin i-analyze yan? So, ang point of reference natin is si Q1. What is the reaction of Q1 dahil kay Q2? So, ano yung tendency ni Q1 kapag napalapit siya kay Q2? Since pareho silang positive according to law of electrostatic force like charges repel. So, ang tendency ni Q1 kay Q2 ay pumunta sa direction na to. Okay? 1 due to 2. Okay? So, the electric force at charge 1 would be towards this direction. So, how about um, electric force at Okay, at Q2, what if our point reference is at Q2? So, same lang din, 9 times 10 raised to 9, yung pag-compute ng magnitude, 200 microcoulomb multiplied by 100 microcoulomb all over 1 squared, 1 meter squared. Okay, same lang yung magiging magnitude nila, 180 newtons. But, since... Ang point of reference natin ngayon ay nasa point 2 or nasa point Q2. Ano yung reaction ni Q2 kay Q1? So, ang tendency ay mag-repel papunta dito sa direction na to. Okay? So, magkaiba yung magiging reaction nila sa isa't isa. Okay? So, kaya po, crucial yung Okay? Pag-distinguish ng ating point of reference. Kasi pwedeng magkaiba yung um, effect okay? ng isang charge dun sa isa pa. Okay? So next problem, problem number two. Yan, dagdag, dagdagan natin ng isa pang, or dagdagan natin ng pangatlong charge. Okay? This is charge number three, Q3. Okay, so aligned sila on a horizontal plane. Okay, so hanapin natin yung net force at charge number 3. Okay, so paano natin mahahanap yung net force at point 3? Okay, so para mahanap natin yun, kailangan malaman natin kung ano yung effect nung Q1 kay Q3 at saka nung Q2 Okay, Q3. Okay, let's start with finding the okay, effect or interaction between Q2 and Q3. Okay, so since mapapansin po natin, yan, parehos, uh, magkaiba sila ng charge. So, ang tendency, okay, ang tendency ni Q3 ay ma-attract kay Q2. So, most, uh, basically, okay, basically, most probably, ang direction po ni F uh, Q3 due to Q2 is papunta po dito. Okay? How about, okay, how about naman kay Q1? Okay, since nakikita po natin, pare, uh, unlike charges pa rin po sila, so ang tendency maa-attract, okay, maa-attract din si F3 kay Q1. Okay, so F3, 1. So, same direction. Pero magkaiba po yung distance. Ang gagamitin natin distance ay yung distance between Q1 and Q3, which is 2 meters. So, we have to find 
the vector sum of f 3, 2 and f 3, 1. Okay? So, unahin muna natin yung f 3, 2. Okay? So, same lang yung gagawin natin. K is 9 times 10 raised to 9 multiply by um, yung 3 is negative 100 microcoulomb multiply by yung 2 is 100 microcoulomb all over a 1 meter squared. Okay, so the answer would be negative 90 newtons. Why negative? Kasi po, ang direction niya ay papunta sa right. Okay? Ay papunta sa left, rather. Okay? Um, F3, uh, Q3, Q2 attracts Q3. Okay, so now let's move forward with F31. Okay, same lang din, 9 times 10 raised to 9, multiply by 100, negative 100 microcoulomb, multiply by 200 microcoulomb, all over the distance between them is 2 meters squared. So what would be the answer? So, the answer is negative 45 newton. Again, negative kasi papunta sa opposite direction, papunta sa left. Yan. Okay? So, now, since we meron na po tayong value ng F32 at saka F31, we can find F net at Q3 by adding... F32 and F31. Okay, so negative 90 newtons plus um, negative 45 newtons is equal to um, 100, negative 135 newtons towards this direction. So, F net at Q3. Okay. in po natin siya. Sum. Bakit po sum yung kinuha natin? Kasi pareho po sila ng direction. Vector sum. Okay. So, um, ganyan po pagka horizontal plane. So, next problem. Yan. Paano pagka meron na tayong apat Okay, apat na charges. So, ang hahanapin po natin dito, ang goal natin is net force at charge number 4. Okay, so if you want to try this problem, you may pause the video and then start answering. Okay, 100 microcoulomb. So, ang una po natin gagawin dyan is hahanapin po yung, may, yung mga charges na nakapag um, or yung mga charges na may reaction si Q4. Okay? Yung mga may interaction si Q4 with. So, yung una is si Q2. Okay? So, si Q2, ano yung reaction ni Q4 sa kanya? So, ang tendency ni Q4 dahil kay Q2 ay magpunta dito sa direction na to. So, ito yung ating force, 4 due to 2. Okay? Second, so ito, ilalagay na natin siya. So, yun yung unang force natin. Force due to 2. Second is si Q3. So, makikita natin um, vertical yung relationship nila. So, pareho silang positive. I-re-repel ni Q3 I sorry, rather, i -re repel ni Q4 si Q3. Okay? So, ang tendency ni F43 is magpunta sa direction na to. Okay? Add F43. 
three. And then yung last, kahit na po ito ay um, wala talagang, hindi siya nakalinya, okay? Hindi, siya, hindi talaga siya nakalinya kay Q4, pero meron pa rin po siyang diagonal relationship. So since pareho silang positive, so ang tendency ni Q4 dahil kay Q1 is magpunta sa direction ako. Okay, so yun yun ating last na interaction. So in order for us to get F net at Q4, we need to find um, F of um, 4 and 2, force at between 4 and 3, and force between 4 and 1. So unahin muna natin yung force between 4 and 2. So makikita natin yung force between 4 at 2 is at the x axis. Okay, so positive x axis. So yung makukuha nating value, yun na po yun. Okay, gamitin natin yung Coulomb's law. 9 times 10 raised to 9. Okay, multiply by um, 100 microcoulomb times 100 microcoulomb. So this is Q4, this is, this is Q2 over the distance between them is 1 meters, 1 meter then squared. Okay? So the answer to this um, relationship is F42 is equal to 90 Newtons. In what direction? Towards this direction. Okay? Next is F43. So, si F43, mapapansin natin, nasa negative okay, nasa negative y-axis. So, we need to find the direction of this, okay, of this vector or this force vector in terms of um, the horizontal axis or reference with positive x-axis. But first, let us compute the magnitude of force 4 due to 3, okay? So F for 3, using Coulomb's law, 9 times 10 raised to 9, multiply by 100 micro coulomb times 100 okay, micro coulomb all over um, 1 meter squared okay um, 1 meter squared so the answer is f43 is 90 newtons but in what direction pababa po siya okay so kung kukunin natin yung angle reference to x axis so ito si f43 so ang kailangan natin ay itong value na to so ang angle po niya ay 270 degrees okay angle 270 degrees okay f43y f42x okay so Yan. Then yung next part naman is C F4 1. So sulit ko lang ulit dito, F net at Q4 is equals to F4 2 plus F4 3 plus F4 1. So, may F42 na tayo, may F43, tapos may F41. Ang last natin kailangang hanapin ay C, okay, Q4, I C, okay, F41. So, but, meron pa po tayong unknown. Ano yung gagamitin nating distance between F41 F at Q4 and Q1. Kasi hindi natin pwedeng gamitin yung 1. Kasi distance yun ng Q1 kay Q3, hindi rin natin pwedeng gamitin to. So we have to find the diagonal distance. 
okay? Nang Q3, ay Q4 to Q1. So, paano natin mahahanap yan? Using Pythagorean Theorem. So, according to Pythagorean Theorem, since nakaform po tayo ng 90 degrees dito, okay? So, pwede natin gamitin yan. Right triangle rule. C squared is equals to A squared plus B squared. So, ang hinahanap natin, itong part na to, si C is... Um, the distance from 4 to 1. Okay? So, equal po siya sa square root ng a 1 meter squared plus 1 meter squared. So, the distance from 4 to 1 is equal to square root of 2 meters. Okay? So, yan. So, since meron tayong distance, this is square root of 2 meters. So, pwede na nating kuhanin yung value ni um, F41. So, F41 is equals to 9 times 10 raised to 9 multiplied by 100 microcoulomb times 100 microcoulomb oh, ah, sorry, all over 1, ah, sorry, square root of 2 meter squared. Okay? So, key in natin yan sa calc U. The answer would be F41, 45 newtons. But, okay, kung titingnan natin sa diagram natin, okay? So, kung i-graph po natin yan, F41 would be most likely can be found on quadrant 4. Nasa quadrant 4 po siya. Ito siya, ba? Okay. So, since ito, 90 degrees, ang kalahati ng 90 degrees, most probably this part would measure 45 degrees. Ito. Okay. F41. So, ano yung measurement ng angle reference to positive x-axis? So, we have to subtract 45 from 360 and the answer would be 315 degrees. Okay? So, yun po yung angle ng ating F41. Angle 315 degrees. Okay? Now, since meron na tayong mga values ng um, F41, F43, and F42, so we have to find the vector sum of this four sets. Okay? Vector sum of four sets. So, kailangan nating hanapin Yung summation of all forces along x-axis at yung summation of all forces along y-axis. So ano po ba dito yung ma, um, mga values na nasa horizontal axis? So matatandaan natin si F42. Okay? At saka yung component ni F41. So, si F42, based dun sa calculations natin, is equal sa 90 newton. Okay? Since nasa positive x-axis na po siya, angle 0 na lang siya. Okay? So, yung uh, cosine, cosine 0 is 1. So, 90 na lang po siya. Next po is F41. X, or yung component ni F41 sa x-axis. So, we have to uh, get 45 cosine 315. Okay? So, that is equal to um, that is equal to 121 okay? Okay, that is equal to 
31 point, okay, 31.82 newtons, positive. Okay? So, 90 plus 31.82. Okay, 90 plus 31.82. So, yung summation natin ng forces along x-axis is equals to 121.82 newtons. Okay? Now, let's move on with um, summation of all forces along y-axis. So, same. Si, ang nasa y-axis lang po natin ay si F43 at saka yung y-component ni F41. So, si F43 ay equal sa 90 angle 270 degrees, di ba? So, inakompute natin kanina. So, since sine 270, wala po siyang component sa x-axis. So, wala siyang cosine. Sine 270 is equal to negative 1. So, F43 is also equals to negative 90 newtons. Next is um, the y component for F41, F41y is equals to 45 sine 315 degrees. And this is equal to negative 31.82 newtons. So, ang summation of all forces along y-axis ay equal sa um, negative 121.82 newton. Okay? Now, since meron na po tayong x and y components of our force at force. So, kailangan na natin makuha yung um, net force using, o pwede natin makuha yung net force using Pythagorean theorem. Net force at Q4 is equals to F42 plus F43 plus F41. Okay? So, equal po siya sa F net at Q4. So, nung in na natin siya, meron na tayong X and Y. So, summation of all forces along X axis squared plus summation of all forces along Y axis squared. So, square root ng 112.82 squared plus um, as squared ng 1.12.82 squared. So, equal po yung F net natin. Q4 is equals to how many newtons? 172.3 okay. newtons. Okay? Since Vector nga po si, si um, net force. So, we need to find the uh, direction using uh, so katoa. Tangent negative 1 Fy over Fx. Okay? Equal sa, sa tangent negative 1 absolute value ng 112.82 over 112.82. So, the answer, um, tangent negative 1, 1 is 45. So, yung computed angle natin is 45 degrees. Since, um, uh, malolocate po natin, yung F, F, X kasi natin ay positive. So, ang Fx natin ay positive, tapos yung Fy natin ay negative. So, supposedly, this can be found on quadrant 4. So, yung na-compute nating uh, angle or direction, kailangan pa nating i-minus sa 360 para makuha natin yung angle reference to x-axis. Okay? So, 360 minus 45. So, the answer is angle reference to x-axis is equal to 315 degrees. 
Okay, so F net at Q4 is equal to 172.3 newton angle 315 degrees. So now, um, we know how to compute um, electric force emitted by point charges. Now we uh, move forward in computing the electric field or magnitude of electric field due to point charges. Okay? So iba po ito kay electric force, si electric field, kasi dito sinusukat natin kung ano yung magnitude ng field na nakikreate ni point charges using a test charge. Okay? So, um, ito yung unang problem natin kay electric field. So, meron po tayong negative test charge um, denoted by T sa gitna po ng ating dalawang 15 nanocoulomb charges. Okay? So, what is um, kailangan nating hanapin is yung init or net electric field na na-experience or nararamdaman ni point P test charge dahil kay Q1 and Q2. Okay? Init at negative P. So, paano natin i-compute yung init or net electric field? So, una natin dyan aalamin kung ano po ba yung individual effect of an individual point charge to the test charge. Okay? Sa case na to, meron kasi tayong dalawang Okay? Meron tayong dalawang point charges. So, ibig sabihin, itong dalawang point charges na to nakaka-apekto dun sa ating test charge P. So, unahin natin, ano ba yung effect ni Q1 kay point charge P? So, since negative yung test charge natin, positive yung ating um, point charge, ano kaya yung tendency ni test charge? Okay? So, ang tendency ni test charge is... Ma-attract, okay, ma-attract kay Q1. So, ang tendency niya, ma-attract kay Q1. So, yung electric field na na-experience ni point charge dahil kay... Ah, so, yung electric field na na-experience ni test charge dahil kay point charge ay papunta dito. So, yun yung ating E1. Okay? Second is... Yung sa Q2, okay? Ano yung point, ayan. Ano yung um, reaction ni point charge kay Q2? Since pareho silang negative, ang tendency, okay? Ang tendency ni, point, ni test charge kay Q2 ay mag-repel. Okay? So, mag-repel -re siya kay Q2. So, this would be our... E2. Okay. So, my mistake. Okay? So, ang, ang, ang direction pala, okay? Ang direction, sorry, the direction of our E field should focus on in terms of the point charge. So, ano yung nai-experience rather ni point charge dahil kay test charge? So, yung E1 natin, ano yung tendency? Okay? Ano yung tendency ni Q1 na mangyari sa kanya? Okay? Dahil kay test charge P. So, ang tendency, lumapit siya kay test charge. So, this is E1. Okay? Next po, si E2. Ano yung tendency ni Q2? Okay? Dahil nagkaroon tayo ng test charge P. So, ang tendency niya is mapapunta. Okay? Mapapunta dito sa direction na to. E2. 
Okay, plus E2. Now let's compute the individual. Okay, now let's compute the net electric field na na-experience ni test charge dahil kay Q1 and Q2. Okay? So, magagamit natin dito yung equation na K Q1 or Q charge over R squared. Okay? So, substitute na natin yung mga values. 9 times 10 raised to 9. E1 plus E2. Pagsabay na po natin para isang uh, input na lang sa calc. 9 times 10 raised to 9 multiply by yung Q1 natin which is 50 nanocoulomb all over the distance between them which is 1 meter squared. Plus yung E2 natin 9 times 10 raised to 9. Okay, multiply by, dito may question. Okay, so ano yung gagamitin nyo? Negative po ba or yung um, positive? Dito kasi since E field or electric field, since E field is a vector quantity, so need, ang kailangan natin in computing the net electric field is the vector sum. So we need to, okay, we need to take into consideration the direction of that individual field vector. So positive pa rin yung gagamitin natin kasi pareho sila ng direction. So pareho ng direction So, we need to add. Okay, 50 nanocoulomb over 1 meter squared. Okay, ang sagot po dito is 9 times 50. Okay, 9 times 50 is uh, 45, 450 newton per coulomb plus... 450 newton per coulomb. So the answer, the net electric field at point P is equals to 900 newton per coulomb. Okay? Now let's move on with our second problem for electric field. We have to find also the net electric field at the point P. Okay, find... The e net net electric field at point P. So yung point P nag-iba na po yung kanyang position. Nasa left or nasa right side na siya nung ating dalawang 50 nanocoulomb charge. So una natin gawin, since alam na natin in computing the e net, we need to find E1 and E2. But first, alamin po muna natin kung ano yung individual effect ni Q1 at Q2 kay test charge. Okay? okay? Or rather, ano yung effect ni test charge kay Q1 and Q2? So, Q1, um, sa Q1, okay, dito tayo sa Q1, kailangan pala blue yung ball pen ko. Okay? So, sa Q1, this one, okay, Q1, Okay, so since positive negative, ano yung tendency ni Q1 kay negative P? Okay, so magpunta dito sa direction na to, towards our test charge. So this is E1 and the distance between Q1 and test charge P is 2 meters. Next is... Si E2 ay si Q2. Okay. So, pareho silang negative. So, ang tendency ni Q2 is mag-repel kay test charge. Okay. So, this is E2. 
Yeah. Okay, so kita na natin based dun sa diagram na opposite direction si E1 and si E2. So supposedly, magma-minus or magsusubtract po tayo ng magnitude. Okay? So let's compute for E net. So E net is equals to E1 plus E2. So same pa rin yung equation na gagamitin natin, kq over r squared. Ayan. Okay? So, substitute natin yung mga values. 9 times 10 raised to 9 multiply by 50 nanocoulomb over the distance between q1 and p, which is 2 meter squared. Plus, um, e 9 times 10 raised to 9 multiply by 50 nanocoulomb. So, the distance between Q2 and point P is 1 meter and then squared. Okay. So, ang answer dito is 112.5 newton per coulomb. Okay. So, since ito papunta dito sa direction na to and ito papunta dito sa direction na to. So, opposite yung direction nila. So, we have to subtract. Okay? We have to subtract the value of E2 from E1. Okay? So, this is equal to 450 newton per coulomb. So, E net is equal to... 300 or negative 337.5 newton per coulomb towards this direction. So based from this given, ano kaya yung mako-conclude natin regarding E or electric field and R or distance? So pwede nating mako-conclude na as electric field increases kailangan malapit yung point charge at test charge sa isang sa isa't isa. Okay? Lumiliit naman, okay, lumiliit naman yung electric field kapag malayo na yung um, test charge at points, point charge sa isa't isa. So, electric field and the distance between point charge and test charge are inversely proportional. Okay? So now let's move on with our final problem for electric field. So yan, medyo nasa x and y axis na. So if you want to try to answer this um, problem, you may do so. Just pause this video. Okay? So now, let's find E net at T. Okay? So, E net at B is equals to E1 plus E2. Okay? E, the equation to be used is K, Q over R squared. Okay? So, ang gawin po ulit natin mag-drawing. So, essential lagi ang pag-drawing dito sa uh, pagkuha natin or pag-compute natin ng net field. Okay? Kasi vector po yung ating mga kinocompute. So, ano yung reaction ni, po, ni Q1 kay point P? So, unlike charges sila, so ang tendency ma-attract kay point P. So, this is our E1. Next is um, our E2. So, yung E2 natin, same, opposite charges attract so, this is our E2. So, um, yan, mapapansin natin na sa X and Y axis. So, we need to find um, uh, the vector, vector uh, electric field vector using Pythagorean theory. Okay? So, i-compute muna natin individually. Let's start with E1. Okay? So, E1 is equals to Diretso ko na, 9 times 10 raised to 9, multiply by 40, yan, 40 microcoulomb over 3. Okay, the distance between them, squared. So the answer for this is um, 9 times 40, 3,600. 
So the answer is forty thousand. Ayan, forty thousand newton per coulomb. Okay. Now let's compute naman yung e two. So e two nine times ten raised to nine multiply by the value of e two is thirty microcoulomb over the distance between them is two meter squared. Okay. So the answer is sixty seven thousand five hundred. Newton per coulomb. Okay? So, ito, si E1, nasa x-axis po siya. Kita natin. So, this is E1. Let's read the row. Ito si E1, nasa x-axis. Si E2, nasa y-axis naman siya. Since nag-form sila, ng 90 degrees. So, most probably, yung init natin, makukuha natin using Pythagorean urine. So, init is equals to okay, square root ni E1 squared plus E2 squared. Okay? So, square root ng 40,000 squared plus 67,500. Tama ba? Squared. Okay? E net is equal to 78,462. Newton per coulomb. Okay? So, since um, vector po ulit si net electric field, we have to find the angle reference to x-axis using SOHATOA. Tangent negative 1, y over x. Okay? Or equal sa tangent negative 1. So, yung y natin is E2. Okay, E2 over E1. So, equal siya sa tangent negative 1, 67,500. Uh, labis na yung 0. Over 40,000. So, the answer is, since nasa quadrant 1 po siya, okay, nasa quadrant 1 si init, so, yung computed value, yun na po yun, as is, the answer for our direction is 59.30 degrees. So, final answer is E net equals to 78.462 Newton per Coulomb, angle 59.30 degrees. Okay? So, since... Yeah, na-compute na po natin lahat ng problems for electric field and electric forces. So, um, if you have any questions or clarifications, you may reach out through me and uh, that would be all for this lecture. So, goodbye and thank you. See you on to our next meeting.